Hey homies, I'm Stephen Iwashki from Adventure Yoga and today we're doing a 15 minute meditation that I call, listen, you're worth it. Because you are, you're worth listening to and one of the people that knows you best can listen to you whenever you need them to and that's you. This practice is about listening to yourself. So I'm gonna sit on a couple blankets so that I'm comfortable, grab whatever props you think you might need and have a seat, and I'll meet you there in just a few seconds. Please take a comfortable seat. I'm sitting on two folded blankets, and I'm sitting in Siddhasana. It's comfortable for me, but you can find whatever props you need to make sure that you'll be able to sit comfortably and fairly still for about 15 minutes. And we're already starting because we're sitting or lying down if you want, whatever works. Welcome. Please sit up tall. Breathe through your nose. Take a few rounds of longer breath just to sort of to cleanse, to reset, to sort of bring you to this moment here. As you breathe, start to relax your eyes. You can look down past the tip of your nose or just close your eyes and start to turn your gaze more inward. And as you start to slow your breath down, find that more calm space. I'm just gonna talk to you for a little bit about what we're going to do today. If you come from the yoga world, often in yoga, meditation will be described as stilling your mind or stopping your mind. That's, the, that's seen as somewhat the goal. And that meditation practice can often look like sitting and in your, in your own mind working to make it more still or even completely still. In some forms of meditation, you repeat a mantra over and over again. It's a transcendental meditation. You have a mantra that you repeat. In Tibetan Buddhist meditation, there's a lot of like bells and drums and vocalization going on. It's very cacophonous meditation. And there are meditations that have you notice your body, walk through a garden. There are all sorts of ways to meditate. In yoga, it's often narrowed down to sitting and being still and doing nothing. But there are endless opportunities for meditation, endless ways to meditate. Today we're going to listen, like you're doing now. But soon I will be quiet and you'll get to listen to what you listen to. I really don't want to color it any more than that. Apart from to give you just a brief idea of what I mean by listen. I really like etymology, where words come from. And this word, listen, that we just use all the time, we may not notice that it has the word list at the beginning of it. And I, I honestly hadn't before I started really thinking about this word. And that word is actually part of listen. A listener is the one who makes lists, one who hears things and makes lists. Maybe they're mental lists, maybe they're written out lists, but they are listing what they hear, they're codifying it and taking note. So to listen is to do that, it's to codify, it's to actually pay attention to the, what you are hearing, what you're taking in and to catalog it in some way so that you can reference it, so that you can come back to it, so that you can learn from it. 
And when we are going to, when I'm going to be quiet here, I want you to do that when you listen. I want you to notice what you notice, to make some sort of list of it, a mental list probably, and maybe after a more physical list if you want. What will you hear? What will you notice? What will you want to make note of? Sit up tall. Relax your eyes and look down past the tip of your nose. You can close your eyes if that's going to allow you to relax. Work to have your head over your shoulders, over your hips, so that your torso is tall, so your shoulders are stacked over your hips, your head is stacked over your hips as well. Just to give you an opportunity to find that natural alignment of your spine, sit up tall. Move your shoulders back and down slightly and draw them in just a little, lift through the center of your chest. Lengthen through your neck and lift your head up as well. Don't lift your chin, just hold yourself up. And start to listen. Listen to yourself, listen to your surroundings. Listen inside, listen outside. What do you hear? What do you notice? Relax your nose, relax your eyes, relax your cheeks and your forehead. And listen. Notice what you are taking in. Notice what you're hearing. Remember that listening is an act of action. It is taking in and taking note. What do you hear?
what's in your mind? What's going on inside your body? What can you hear? Listen. Adjust your seat, your posture, if needed. And listen. Listen to your mind, listen to your heart, listen to your body. What is happening? What is going on? What do you hear? Don't ignore it. Pay attention to it. Listen. It's okay to be distracted by sounds, external sounds and noises and bumps. It's okay to be distracted by your mind, by your thoughts. There's no judgment to what you hear, to what you make note of. Simply listen.
tall. Take a couple of longer breaths, deeper breaths. Roll your shoulders back and open your chest with an inhale. Sit up tall with your exhale. Bring your hands together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra, the prayer position. Touch your thumbs to your breastbone, and then from there spread the rest of your fingers. Touching your thumbs to your breastbone, you might be able to feel your heartbeat. You really have to listen for it. Pay attention and feel that pulse. Thank you for taking this time to listen to yourself. It's important to be heard. And there are messages to hear. There are reminders from within, from outside, to hear if we stop and take a moment to listen. What lessons did you hear? It can be useful to make notes after this, if, that's, if that seems like it would be helpful, take a moment, grab a piece of paper or your device and make some notes. Thank you for practicing. Thanks for sitting with me. Namaste. You are worth it. Thanks for listening to yourself for this short meditation. Thanks for taking the time to look after yourself. It's really important and it feels good. And I feel great after this practice and I hope that it helps you just feel a little bit refreshed, a little bit more connected to yourself. Thanks for practicing. If you would like to do a class of asana with me, you can click right there, do that now or add it to your watch later list. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, just take a second and click my picture right over there. Click on that little bell icon thing to get notifications and like that. Thanks, homies. See you soon.